just came the announcement of the financial package worth more than 100 crores. Now the CBI is moving to probe six identified cases as far as Manipur violence goes. These are confidence building measures that are being undertaken by the centre. These were measures that were announced by Home Minister Amit Shah when he visited Imphal. So what are these six cases that the CBI is going to probe? These are cases, one, of generic violence to see whether there was any criminal conspiracy or whether there was any crime committed. Uh, so that would cover more or less all cases that are happening, that general conspiracy case. And then there are five specific cases of violence that have been identified by the Manipur government and uh, referred to the Central Bureau of Investigation. A special investigation team has been formulated. The SIT will uh, look at all these six cases. It will visit Imphal. Uh, but that will be a tough uh, task in itself because currently the situation in Imphal continues to be volatile. As late as uh, uh, you know, Thursday evening, there was an incident of an attack on, an, on a BJP MLA's uh, residence. Thankfully, there was no casualty or no massive, uh, you know, fallout of uh, that IED that was allegedly thrown at the MLA's residence. But it just tells you about the situation as it is unfolding. Yes, it is correct that in the last, uh, you know, few hours, there have been no major incident of violence reported. The last one that we got to know, the unfortunate incident of an ambulance carrying a seven-year-old child uh, his mother and another family member, that ambulance was burnt, uh, killing all three uh, inside while they were going for a treatment. But post that incident, uh, we've, we've heard from uh, government officials there in uh, Manipur as well as here in, in Delhi. Uh, there, there is a normalcy, combing operation is going on. Uh, there was a petition by some Manipuri uh, residents in the Supreme Court demanding that the internet ban uh, be lifted, but that has also not been honoured by the Supreme Court. So even though there are demands that internet ban be lifted, the security Security grid is very wary. It's been a month since uh, internet has been, uh, you know, internet ban has been placed there. So these are the challenges under which the CBI SIT will travel to Imphal uh, to collect evidence. It will be difficult for them, uh, but it's a challenge that they have accepted because it is also part of a confidence-building measure. There are allegations both by the cookies and the maitis against each other. Both sides alleging uh, that uh, this entire real uh, circle of violence that has begun has been started by them. If you recall, it all began uh, when the Tribal Solidarity March was called for. And in that violence started uh, in the hills of Manipur and then it spread towards Imphal uh, where churches etc were also burnt. Uh, so CBI team when it goes there it will try and visit Churchandrapur, Bishnupur uh, and the other affected areas in the hills as well as Imphal, uh, try and collect evidence, speak to eyewitnesses. Most have fled their residence and, and are living in camps or they have left Manipur and come to Delhi or gone to other northeastern states. So identifying witnesses, speaking to them, uh, trying to piece together, rebuild the crime scene these are all challenges that the SIT will face, uh, but the CBI has moved now after it received the recommendation from the Manipur government via the Department of Personal and Training. All eyes now on when the CBI teams visits uh, Manipur and for how long uh, they, they stay there, who are the people that they speak to in gathering evidence for these cases.